8.32 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturday the 6th, 2016, start of Lunasa. Because eight, uh, because 6.54 p.m. is the cross quarter, ending the bright quarter of the year and starting the cooling quarter of the year. And a knot symbolizing the womb, the bride, what's left, sort of match with the Imolk swastika there. And there's good tidings and the year of Samhain. Yule. Imolk. Ostera. Beltane. Litha. Lunasa. Mavon. So darkness. Starts to increase. Light and darkness are equal, but darkness takes the helm. Darkness is dominant, but not completely. Completely dominant switches over to darkness losing its strength. Darkness and light equal, but light is gaining its this. Um, Darkness approaches its lowest, darkness at its lowest, and uh, come in. To share more on that. So, fall as it used to be called. I, it's the season of, well, it's, it's a harvest. Um, some people are going to uh, burn the last of their crops, leave a little bit there and burn the rest for some reason. I think it would be better to give them charity. Some will wear a berry in winter wheat or you know, some sort of grain that they dry in the heat of the sun, because this is a harvest for vegetables. And since it's, you know, the berry thing, I guess, you know, it's a har and grapes and whatnot, so it's a harvest of, uh, you know, drugs has become part of the symbolism, and it's a, the season of love ends and the season of war starts. And this last year in the middle of it was the Great Eve, but, oh yeah, and of course, of course music, the devil in music, and the law of God in the Ten Command in the New Testament, you shall worship your Lord, your God, and him only shall you serve, Matthew 4.10, little children, keep yourselves from idols, 1 John 5.21, Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, subhanAllah, we ought not to think that the divine nature is gold or silver or stone, something shaped by art and man's devising. Acts 17, 29. That the name of God and his doctrine may not be blasphemed. 1 Timothy 6 1. For he has spoken in a certain place of the seventh day in his way, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. There remains therefore a rest, keeping of a Sabbath margin for the people of God. For he who has entered his rest, yeah, God doesn't rest. Um, has himself also ceased from his works as God from, uh, yeah, Hebrews 4, 4, 9, 10. Kind of messed up there. But 
So the Sabbath is Friday night to Saturday sundown. So Manasseh started at the end of the Sabbath. Um, honor your father and your mother, Matthew 19, 19. You shall not murder, Romans 13, 9. You shall not commit adultery, Matthew 19, 18. You shall not steal, Romans 13, 9. You shall not bear false witness, Romans 13, 9. You shall not come in Romans 9, uh, 4, 7, 7. And so drug rehabilitation does not need other drugs. So how can you condemn drugs when you even uh, prescribe even worse drugs like Xanax and stuff like this? Let the, let the people have their heroin and their meth and stuff. Just make it clean if you're going to just give them drugs. Come on. Um, but the way to fight uh, addiction and intoxication is through achieving balance. Uh, some people need certain vitamins or certain non-narcotic plants that can help in the process. And as far as a new age way of thinking, um, drugs making holes in the astral body. And so the periodic table, 19 guards over hell, um, 29 you know, less than a an average lunar month is twenty is a little over twenty nine and a half days. So most of them are going to be thirty. But um, the death and drawing in the summer, two of cups, love. So it switches over. Uh, the the meat of the sacrifice. Well, I'm not sure that all that meat is okay to eat. Um, you know, a, a book representing with those see those symbols of the different faiths and stuff there so the truth in all faiths um one of the things in fall is the Srimad Bhagavatam um and that sort of Vaishnav mythology the older Ten Commandments we have here uh Martyr and Pestle and let's not forget that in this season, Lunasa Lamas Tide uh, is, you know, the first day or whatever, but it's really the whole season. The cross quarter name takes over the name of the season, um, and that happens to be a uh, Tibetan New Year. Um, you know, kind of looking through again, I, you know... 219 from from Quran is the first verse to mention intoxicants and that intoxicants and gambling have benefit but uh, the sin outweighs the benefit just give charity instead Isaiah 28 7 intoxication affects judgment and let's I can't seem to read that there. Um, exercise. Oh, yeah. Symbol of war. Surah 591 reminds us that intoxicants and gambling are a demonic way to uh, bring aversion and hatred between people and, uh, you know, distraction from God's remembrance. You know, since when is any of God, uh, since when is any of Satan's ways uh, permissible anyways? Um, 1732, don't make an approach to extramarital sexual relationships. So it's not just, oh, I believe so much, I'll never commit adultery, I'll never fornicate, but I'm going to do everything else. No, it, it doesn't work that way. And porn and fornia, those words in the Bible, mean any extramarital sex acts, act, intercourse of any type, and any uh, an outer course of whatever type, all that is included. And Isaiah 16.10, 
mentions intoxicants take away blessings. One on two eight from Quran mentions that you'll be questioned about your pleasure. Sixteen sixty seven from Quran mentions that intoxicants aren't good provision. Five ninety mentions that intoxicants and gambling are ways of the demons. Okay, so I didn't quite mention that. There are two. They're means to make people hate each other and to keep us from prayers. When is keeping people from their prayers a good idea? Um, Surah 4 or something? Uh, you know, don't come to the prayer intoxicated. Um... Maybe that got covered up there. Maybe it's hidden in something here. Have no place. Oh, in heaven, yeah. Galatians five nineteen through 20. Yeah, anybody who does sorcery, you know, ritual drug use, along with sex outside of marriage, and a number of other things, has no place in heaven. I don't know if that's going too far. Can't people repent on their own? Um, Proverbs 13, 31 through 32. Avoid intoxicants as they will hurt you. Proverbs 21. Intoxicant use is being led astray. The devil in music, you know, uh, either it could be secret or open. Um, it could be in the lyrics, you know, Jay Z or what, you know, I, I, or or whoever that you think has made a pact with the devil. It's there's they don't actually have to make a literal pact of the devil with the devil in their own blood or whatever you think they have to do. Exodus twenty two eighteen. And the Chinese wait the Chinese what the I don't know my point there Oh, maybe I was comparing it to something about Chinese culture and Corinthians 6.10. Drug addicts won't get to paradise hereafter. I mean, seriously, give it up now. Um, now you can be physically addicted and not spiritually addicted, so therefore you've abandoned your behaviors. That's perfectly fine. Um, entertainment music, drugs, illicit sex acts, are religion and spirituality. Which do you choose?